Hello friends. Two men were working for the city PWD, Public Water Works Department. One would dig the hole and the other would follow him and fill the hole in. They worked up on one side of the street, then down the other, then moved on to the next street, working furiously all day without rest. One man digging the hole and the other one filling it up again. An onlooker was amazed at their hard work but couldn't understand what they are doing so. So he asked the hole digger, I am impressed by the effort you both are putting into your work. But I just don't understand, why do you dig a hole only to have your partner follow behind and fill it up again? The hole digger whipped his brow and sighed, well I suppose it probably looks odd because we are normally a three person team but the man who lays the pipes and cables is on leave today. Sometimes it is very easy to be like the two gentlemen in the story. We can fall into the habit of looking as though we are working diligently but in the end we are doing stuff that doesn't matter and doesn't get any closer to our goals or is a complete waste of time. Many go through life working hard but yet feeling bored, listless and lifeless. A life where you merely exist instead of really living. This lack of lust for life may stem from living on autopilot, making an unconscious automatic decisions that don't align with how you want to work and live. And trust me, you are not alone. We have become creatures of habit and routine, many a times doing mindless things. The problem with living in autopilot is that it can leave you sleepwalking through life's pivotal moments, making it difficult to make intentional decisions about how you want to work and live your life. Instead of making conscious choices about the clothes you wear, the food you eat, the people you spend time with, the things you buy, the work you do and the places you go, you make decisions out of default. And before you know it, you are living a life by default not by design. Over time, these small mindless decisions can prevent you from reaching what is known as your definition of success. John Wooden once said, never mistake activity with achievement. We keep moving in vicious circles and think we are making progress. We often confuse motion with meaning and activity with achievement. Just because you are doing a lot more doesn't mean you are getting a lot more done. The average person's life consists of 20 years having parents ask him where he or she is going. 40 years of a spouse asks the same question and at the end the mourners at the funeral wondering the same. Most people suffer from what is known as Snow White syndrome. We all have heard the story of Snow White, a young lady lying in a state of coma waiting for Prince Charming to come along and save her. And when he kisses her, she comes back to life and saved by her hero. Most people hope their lives will turn around like Snow White. They doze through life just waiting for things to turn around, for someone to save them from an unearned piece of good fortune. They turn up to work doing an average job with very little energy and hoping that someone would tap them on the shoulder and give them a promotion or a pay rise. The reality is that there is no prince charming and there is no successful dream without hard work and discipline. If there is one reason why people go through life feeling bored, dull and unfulfilled, it can simply be explained by a quote from Lawrence Peters, an educator best known to the general public for his formulation of what was known as the Peters Principle. According to him, there are two kinds of failures, those who thought and never did and those who did and never thought. I repeat, there are two kinds of failures, those who thought and never did and those who did and never thought. Balancing thought and action will always be a challenge for many people. If you tend to focus more on your thinking system, you will end up getting caught up in a life of inaction. Don't over plan and under act. In my personal view, a deeper look into Dr. Lawrence Peters quote identifies three contributors to a dull, bored and unfulfilled life. These are lack of passion, compassion and action. Now, those that thought and never did are the result of poor action, while those who did and never thought, they lacked passion and compassion. So talking about those who did and never thought, the first one is passion. 
passion generates a supply of positive energy for more which is far more abundant than vitamins exercise or any other health remedy that you can ever imagine when you love what you do you have the energy to overcome any obstacle passion is the fuel that drives you it is the inexhaustible resource for energy and optimism without passion it is nearly impossible that and one will simply reduce life to existence mediocrity and indifference passion is the energy that propels you through obstacles and can turn your dreams into reality it simply means your willingness to suffer for what you love george burns an american comedian once said i would rather be a failure doing something i love than be a success doing something i hate the second reason is compassion it is said that without passion nothing happens and without compassion the wrong things happen while passion gets you up in the morning and acts as a fuel that drives you to immerse yourself into your work and deliver results compassion is what you extend to others success is often associated with the individualistic idea of only looking for the number one it has now been studied and proven that rather than compassion standing in your way it can actually fuel you to success a person who is compassionate is more likely to be engaged be innovative collaborative with others and perform at his best passion without compassion is actually oppression being compassionate is not about trying to be a saint or being so kind that you become a doormat for other people being compassionate is not a sign of weakness in fact it is the exact opposite whether you are trying to get a promotion reach a financial milestone complete a degree or help a child learn to read compassion will help you accomplish your goal more efficiently and effectively and it will make your achievements more enduring fulfilling and rewarding compassion is always a win win situation lack of passion and compassion is the result of those that did but never thought it reminds me of a joke where early morning her mother went to her sleeping son and woke him up wake up son it's time to go to school but why mama said the son i don't like to go to school the mother then said give me two reasons why you don't want to go to school and the sub and the son replied one all the children hate me two all the teachers hate me and the mother said oh that's no reason come on you have to go to school said the mother and the son replied once again give me two reasons why i should go to school and the mother replied one you are 52 years old and two you are the principal of the school i hope like the principal we don't go to work because we have to but rather we want to and we love the work the second group of people that never make an impact and continue to feel dull bored and unfulfilled actually are categorized as those that thought but never did these are people who have big plans but they lack action they can be best explained through this little joke where a poor man who goes to church every day and prays before a statue of a great saint begging him dear saint please 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 give me the grace to win a lottery and this lament goes on for months finally exasperated the statue comes to life looks down at the begging man and says in disgust my son please 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 go buy a ticket i have never heard of someone stumbling onto something great while sitting down and doing nothing words without actions are the essence of dreams a little action is better than the greatest intention my angelo says remember people judge you by your action not by your intention you may have a heart of gold but so does a hard boiled egg the world doesn't pay you for what you know it pays you for what you can do there is an enduring axiom of success that says the universe rewards action yet as simple and true as the principle is it is surprising how many people get stuck through life spending the best hours of the day analyzing and planning when what they actually need to do is action they spend their whole lives waiting for a perfect time to get started as mark twain observed thunder is good thunder is impressive 
but it is lightning that does the work remember friends there is never a perfect time to get started just get started